Hey guys, so today's going to be a pretty quick one. I'm just still playing around with my bamboo panels and one of the things that keeps coming up uh, relating to my measurements and just you know common knowledge in the audio world in general is that to get a better sound you want to pull your speakers out from the wall and that goes especially for uh, things like panels where you're getting sound radiating equally back and front. Right. Uh, so obviously when I'm listening to music I'm hearing the wave coming off the front of the panel and then also the wave coming off the back of the panel bouncing off the wall and coming back out this way. So the obvious effect of that is that certain frequencies will be reinforced where the two waves, uh, sound waves line up on the return journey and some frequencies are going to cancel out uh, because they're out of phase on that return journey. So I'm just going to take a couple of measurements, maybe like four or five measurements, starting in here close to the wall and then moving the panel progressively further out just to see. Uh, we'll take measurements and compare them on the computer and just see kind of what, what sort of difference there is and what's the, if I can, what's the optimal distance from the wall that gives the smoothest frequency response. Uh, all my measurements will be taken at one meter and uh, I'll just move back as the panel comes out from the wall. Let's do it. Okay, test number one. 22 centimeters from the wall. This is as close as I can get it. Next one will be 50 centimeters. Now I'm going to double it to one meter from the wall. And finally I'll go 1.5 meters. I think going much past that is not very practical for most people, including me. I mean even 1.5 is too far for this room, but Maybe you have a bigger house than I do. Alright, let's see what we've got. Yeah. Distance wall. I have my four measurements, so we'll just apply a bit of smoothing for clarity. All right, and now starting at the start, so the first measurement at 22 centimeters from the wall. Huge spike at 50 hertz, um, and then by 70 hertz, it's like way back down, so. I guess this is a um, resonance off the wall uh, where the frequency is being reinforced and then the 70 hertz uh, frequency is probably pretty much pretty out of phase I would, I would say. Uh, as you might expect as it gets higher in frequency and the wavelengths get shorter this kind of evens out a lot and it actually looks pretty good above around that kind of 285 hertz mark. Uh, so let's have a look at 50. This is 50 centimeters is probably the closest to where I actually would listen to it. So probably 50 to 75 centimeters would be where I generally listen to it just from a practicality point of view. Um, okay, and first thing I notice is that the bass comes in a lot smoother. We don't have that huge spike. There is still a a spike in that 50 hertz area which is interesting but the amplitude of it is it's like so much less as you can see so if we get rid of this for a second that actually forms a 
relatively smooth uh, curve. And then again, we actually have this significant dip at 300, uh, where we had a, a peak in the other, in the closer measurement. So that's interesting, but again, it's just, um, you know, sound waves being reinforced and sound waves being nullified or out of phase with each other. Higher than that, it's not too much different. I think actually the 50 centimeter, which you'd expect to be a bit better, actually has is a bit more uneven. You can see all these slightly higher peaks and definitely some lower troughs there up until around 3K, from which point it's pretty much the same. I feel like I need half my speaker at 50 centimeters and half at 22. Adding in the one meter, get rid of some of these. Okay, one meter, we're back to having this huge spike and it's 50 hertz again. So I do wonder if this 50 hertz uh, spike is actually due to room mode, so other reflections, not just that back wall, since all the measurements seem to have it in the same spot. Uh, maybe that's something I need to sort out for my next measurements. Uh, compare it to the 50. Got a bit more in this uh, base area. Uh, and again, like the higher frequencies, it's not too different. Okay, finally, the 1.5 meter measurement. We're getting a lot less bass in general in this measurement. Still with that stupid big spike, so yeah, I'm gonna go with room mode for that one. But I'm surprised at how much lower the level of the, the bass is, all the way up to around 440 hertz. Uh, it's significantly weaker, right? It's like, it's a lot weaker, isn't it? Um, so, not much good. Above that, once more, doesn't really matter. So, what we really need to look at is this, say, 400 hertz or 500 hertz and below is where all the action is. Yeah, and if I actually had to pick one, I, d I don't like the weak base in these, the 22. So that can go. And what's this is the 1.5. That can go. And I this is obviously horrendous. It's much less of a thing actually in this 50 centimeter one. I mean if you had to choose, you'd go for the 50, wouldn't you? Over the one meter. So we've got a relatively linear kind of ramp up until about 200 hertz. There is this dip, which is a bit shitty, uh, but from there, it's all sort of in this same ballpark. Um, so I'm gonna say 50 centimeters from these four positions, 50 centimeters is probably the pick. So what I might do uh, going forward, I'll, I'll measure my panels at this kind of 50 centimeter mark and then anything else I do to try and tame the peaks and smooth the response out, I'll do at that same distance. Anyway, so in other practical terms, probably that 50-ish centimeter from the wall might be a sweet spot. Um, I guess it maybe depends on what the rest of the room is doing as well. I do wonder as well the effect of things like the panel size uh, might shift these these points a bit so I guess all I've learned is that for my particular panels uh, there seems to be a sweet spot somewhere around that half meter out from the wall in my room with my panels again I mean that's mildly interesting so that's it for today uh, if you have any comments or feedback please let me know I'm always looking to improve thanks for watching